Tonight, Governor Glenn Youngkin's push for a gas tax holiday seemingly revived. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is digging into whether this has worked in other states as the debate surfaces or resurfaces, I should say, right here in Virginia. She's live in Chesterfield tonight. Jackie. Hey guys, well, Governor Youngkin's proposed gas tax holiday was recently left out of a bipartisan budget compromise after widespread opposition from Democratic lawmakers. But now Youngkin is signaling that he may try to send down an amendment basically to get this back on the table when the General Assembly returns to Richmond on Friday. Today, Governor Glenn Youngkin teasing another try at a gas tax holiday as average prices nationwide hang above five bucks for the first time. Five dollar hurdles to Virginians living their lives. This is so important for us to get done, but I need our Senate Democrats to put down politics and do what's right for Virginians. When Maryland's gas tax holiday took effect back in March, AAA says the average price there was slightly higher than Virginia's. But just days into the pause, prices in Maryland dropped and stayed lower than its neighbor until the day after the suspension expired. A surprise for Cato Institute senior fellow Peter Van Doren. I would not have predicted the Maryland experiment would have done much, but yet it did, I think. Meantime, a similar trend appears to be playing out with Georgia's gas tax holiday, now extended until mid-July. According to AAA, Georgia currently has the lowest prices in the country, with an average of just below 450. Virginia's now topping 480 per gallon. Those numbers aside, Van Doren says the impact of a possible pause in Virginia remains uncertain as research is limited. He says there are likely more effective ways for lawmakers to give relief to consumers, as he says record gas prices will likely disguise a temporary tax cut. Doing it in the context of the summer peak, I would be much more hesitant to argue we'd see something obvious other than it's going to go up less fast than it otherwise would. And Senate Democrats have essentially argued that a gas tax suspension with uncertain savings for consumers is just not worth losing hundreds of millions of dollars that would otherwise be used for much needed road repairs. No sign that those minds have changed just yet, but we're also at this hour still waiting for an official amendment to come out from Governor Youngkin's office. Live in Richmond, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.